let's dive into the Big Ten meetings. And we will, let's see, go on and toss this up on the screen here. Da -da -da. All right, so the Big Ten and, of course, Fox and all of these different TV networks are meeting this week to go over their deals. And I would not imagine that we're going to hear any kind of an announcement this week. I think that we will get those once we get into July for media days. But looking at the list of people that are interested in the Big Ten media rights, they are meeting with Amazon, CBS, NBC, ESPN, and then, of course, there is Warner Brothers Discovery, which has bought out Turner Sports, and Apple. Those two are expected to be dark horses on this. I would not expect them to be involved here. Remember, Fox is going to get the, the biggest part of this package. But interesting article out of SI today. Richard Johnson, who is over at Split Zone Duo, he had a very interesting take on this. Possibly giving, you know, CBS a Big Ten game for their afternoon slot. Fox, of course, will still take the biggest ones. But give CBS a Big Ten game in the afternoon, and then NBC would take a Big Ten night game. And there are massive properties in the Big Ten. Splitting them between three different broadcast companies is an interesting concept. My question here was, are the smaller brands worth enough to CBS and NBC for them to actually put big money into this? And with the money that Fox is already giving them, you don't have to have a lot from those. But does CBS want their national broadcast, their main game, to be something along the lines of Wisconsin and Northwestern? Is that what they want? Because if you're CBS, you can't just dock that over to CBS Sports Network or, or whatever. You can't just dock that somewhere else. You only have a limited number of games that you can choose from because Fox is going to take the biggest one. Now, saying that, do they end up implementing some kind of thing, some kind of clause in the contract the same way that CBS and ESPN do, where in the SEC, one team cannot be on CBS more than five times a year? And, okay. <laughs> Maybe they do something along those lines. But I, I'm curious what they end up doing here. Uh, regardless, the... The deal is going to be worth more than a billion dollars a year. Uh, it's going to be huge. And then, of course, the SECs, once all that stuff gets done with Texas and Oklahoma, that is going to dwarf this. That's my assumption. Not dwarf. Maybe a bad choice of words. But I would imagine that the SECs is going to be bigger. Uh, all the different valuations, all the different things going on out there right now, show that the SEC will be pulling in about $117 million, $118 million per team per season. And in this one, uh, the Big Ten will be pulling in, you know, o over $100 million per school, somewhere around there. So I'm, I'm curious about this one as well. Uh, if I'm Apple, do I really want to get tied up in this to get minor brands? Like, do I want Northwestern and Illinois? I, I don't know. I don't know. So, if the same can be said for NBC. Like, if you can guarantee that CBS and, uh, let's see, CBS and NBC, we'll, we'll say that those two are the lead ones. If you can guarantee each one of those, Michigan or Penn State, right? If Fox takes Ohio State, then CBS has to get Michigan and NBC has to get Penn State. And then around and around each different week, right? Then one week Fox takes Penn State the next week, uh, CBS gets Ohio State, and then Michigan goes to NBC. Something like that. If you can guarantee that the biggest brands get on these different properties and they are in primetime spots, maybe it's worth it. I just I don't know exactly how much a Michigan-Indiana game is worth or Penn State-Northwestern, right? Penn State-Illinois. What is that worth? I, we'll see. We'll see. Is that worth having a solo national broadcast on CBS and NBC? I don't know. I don't know. But we will find out. We will see what happens with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.